Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you're new here. It's gonna be a little weekend in my life vlog, few days. Welcome to New York. Let's go. We're going to brunch slash lunch right now. I'm meeting up with some of my friends and I'll show you my outfit quick. It is about 97 degrees today in the city, so it's very hot. This dress is from Fashion Pass. Let me get the brand for you guys. Um, and then I'm wearing my Sabo skirt, like little platform sneakers. I mean, not sneakers, um, shoes. I like to wear a shoe with a platform when I'm in New York because I don't like to be too close to the ground. I went and waved my hair a little bit, but pretty much just natural. And yeah, just a simple fit for this hot day. The dress is from Raise for Days, which I've never heard of this brand, but I do think it's really cute. I love this like style where I just think it's really flattering. Let's go get some food and some drinks. What a weekend. What a day, really. I only went out Saturday, but... We are puffy. It is one of those Sundays. This is what I'm wearing right now, just a t-shirt and sweatpants. Spent the first half of the morning, if I'm gonna be totally honest, in my bed. I slept in, not even just slept in, I slept in until like 9.30, 10, which isn't that crazy for me. I mean, I like to wake up early, but on weekends, you know, whatever. But then I um, finally, like I laid around probably till like one or two, finally got up and started cleaning my apartment. My mom and my aunt are coming to town tomorrow and we are going to do something very exciting, which I will vlog. I just wanted to get the apartment in a state that I could have visitors and you know, they don't judge, but I, I want it to look nice, of course. And now finally at 4.35 p.m., I am going to get ready because I'm going to a dinner. It's my friend Alicia's birthday next week or this week coming up, I guess. And she's heading out of town. So we're doing an early birthday dinner for her. We're going to dinner at Sugarfish. This will actually be my be my first time at Sugarfish. I normally don't like like sashimi type sushi and I feel like that's what they're known for, but my friends are big into sushi, so I'm like, it's good. I need to step out of my comfort zone and try it. I've actually been trying a lot of new foods recently, which I know, like it's nothing exciting. The thing is that I like food a lot. Like I consider myself a food lover type of person, but I'm not super expansive with what I'm willing to try. This past week we went to Lamia's Fish Mart in East Village and I tried oysters for the first time. I can't believe it took me this long. I used to just be grossed out by the concept of it. Like I didn't really understand. My mom and my brother eat oysters, but my dad doesn't eat seafood. So we never really like had them a lot. Like, you know, I know you, I feel like you go out to a restaurant, like you would order it. It's definitely a fancy thing. Like not something that I would do all the time, but trying that and just trying to expand food a little bit wise. I feel like that's like a very 24 year old thing of me to do is to like get more expansive with what I'm willing to try. That's a good comment question for you guys. Do you consider yourselves to be like picky eaters or will you eat anything? It's an interesting conversation, but I just don't want to be like that picky friend. Like I just want to be able to be like, sure, I'll have a bite of anything, you know? I don't really have many dietary restrictions. I'm allergic to peanuts, but that's not like crazy limiting by any means. So I'm very fortunate that I can try things so I might as well but yeah so the, we're going there I'm going to get ready a little bit already did um my lotion face cream whatever you want to call it CeraVe yeah I'm here for the days of rest I'd like to spend half of Sunday resting and then half of it maybe like preparing for the next week like taking a look at my calendar kind of organizing things booking myself like workout classes or seeing when I could fit in that stuff seeing when you know in the following week like when I'll be social when I'm planning to go out when I'm planning to stay in. And that's kind of what I did today. So I'm, I'm happy with my progress. And then when I get home, I get to watch Big Brother and Love Island. So it's a good day. I'm gonna keep it really simple today with the makeup. So I just did Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now I'm just gonna do this Fenty Beauty, the um, blurring skin tint. I, I don't really feel like doing full face like foundation today, but I want like a little coverage, you know? I think I'm gonna walk there too so I can get some steps in on this Sunday because I have not left my apartment, which I don't love to do. I try not to have any day where it's like, I didn't leave my apartment because I like to, you know, do something not even crazy active, but at least like leave my apartment. Like I took a walk to the drugstore or something. The people that I've been hanging out with recently, because I know I've expressed like, I don't really have a friend group here. And I think that was like something that I dealt with a lot last year and kind of through COVID, it was tough because then you didn't want to be hanging out with like all these random people. And I really just struggled because I was like, all my friends are in different friend groups. Like, what do I do? I'm really, really like so happy because my friend Alicia from college, she doesn't have an Instagram right now either. So it's like, I feel like it's like an imaginary friend, but I show her in the vlogs and stuff sometimes. I lived with her my senior year of college and I lived with another girl and then my two friends, Maddie and Mariah. And it was so, so much fun. And uh, she told me a while back that she was planning on moving to New York, but then COVID happened and all of that. Um, but she ended up here now 
I feel like timeline wise she would have been here at the same time But anyways, so I've been hanging out with her and she's like one of my best friends from college So I've been spending like all of my weekends with her and then her roommates were also from Atlanta Last weekend we went to the Jersey Shore to visit one of our other friends from college in a few weeks coming up um, I know Mariah is coming to visit so I'll definitely vlog that it's so exciting um, Obviously I want all selfishly I want all of my friends from college to move here because they're like my best best friends They are all living like their their lives wherever they may be a lot of them are in Atlanta But I'm so happy to have Alicia here now and um, have met her roommate and get along so well with them. They have like their like little roommate situation and kind of friend group and I get to like basically attach myself to that, which is nice. I feel like if you're struggling and like in terms of making friends and stuff like that, it really only takes one person because that's how I felt for so long. I was like, gosh, like I feel weird. I feel like I'm interjecting myself in social circles, but all it really takes is like one person who is roommates or they have a friend group to welcome you in and then like you can find your people, you know? And maybe I'll even find friends through that. Like I'm not saying that like these are my only friends in New York now, but it feels way better to have a group that I can be like, what are we doing this weekend? Or what's the plan this weekend? And I haven't had that like since I moved here, which I didn't even, I mean, I guess I kind of have that in Boston, but anyways, I feel really, really thankful. So that's who I've been hanging out with. And none of them are like social media people. They all like regular jobs. So it's kind of nice though. Cause I like, I, I of course love hanging out with like my YouTube friends, internet friends, but it's really nice to have, I like to have friends in all different like places in life or from different backgrounds and whatnot. So it's been great. Brows, I'm just doing like the lightest makeup up today really just yeah basically ready except that i still have the sweatpants on because i can't bear to do that just yet but i'm wearing a scarf as a shirt just tied up uh, i've been really into this especially on these hot sweaty days also i've been into wearing my hair natural i really just uh get out of the shower put some leave-in serum in it and kind of scrunch it up and let it do its thing some days it looks better than others but i feel like if you have wavy hair you know that's just how it goes or curly hair but I, I guess I can only speak from like wavy but you know you get it while I'm here I wanted to talk about the sponsor of today's video which is Casetify no shock you guys know how much I love Casetify specifically we're going to talk about the leather cases I'm about to change out my phone case right now at this neon moment which I love so much but I'm going to go back to the basics and do a leather moment I was sent these stunningly beautiful leather cases the cool thing about these is that they're totally customizable they have like eight colors you could choose your font you could choose where you put whatever you put on so this one says BM, which is my initials. This one says Brooke. This one says Brooke in like a nice gothic font big. And I really like this one, a nice chocolate like leather. And it says Brooke with the gothic font down there. The leather on these cases is actually made from a cruelty free leather. It's consciously sourced and handcrafted and has like this fiber suede kind of interior. It's actually like a pebbled leather finish too, which is my favorite type of leather. The leather is also biodegradable and it's made of 90% recycled materials plus 100% recyclable packaging. The leather cases also have Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating and that keeps your phone germ-free by eliminating 99% of bacteria. I'm actually thinking about getting a new iPhone soon. I'm going to wait until I get a new case first because I think it is so important to have a good quality case that's going to keep your phone safe. And that's the cool thing about Casetify. Not only are they super stylish, but I trust them with literally my life, which is my iPhone. I hate to be like that, but it's true. Now I'm literally going to take off one Casetify case and put on the other because that's just how it goes and how it's been for the last, like, what? four years at this point. I don't even know how many. Casetify also has really cool collabs with artists and designers. I know they partner with like awesome influencers and people that I follow on Instagram. So you'll have to go explore their website. They have so much to explore. And of course, I have a deal for you guys. I'm always asked for my code for Casetify. It's actually a link. So go to casetify.com slash brookmichio today to get 15% off your new phone case. Once again, that's casetify.com slash brookmichio, but I will have it, of course, linked down below. Let me know if you guys have a Casetify case or if you plan on buying anything like I'm so, oh my god I just I love it I love it I think it's time to put on jeans now unfortunately this is the completed look I'm gonna like adjust the scarf obviously as we go jeans citizens of humanity and then I'm just wearing these white like platform sandals because they're super comfy from Sabo skirt my natural hair um let's go I'm actually about to walk like 30 minutes I think I told you guys that <laughs> then I made this note that I need to get oat milk and toilet paper on my way home I could like stop at a bodega or something maybe the 8 30 Alicia's coming with me um which I'm excited about her first time it's always nice to go with someone to a workout class like that they've been to before I feel like drinking a Celsius on this walk it's about a 15 minute walk in biker shorts who is she cloudy day apparently this is for sex in the city so that's <laughs> cool they're lined up all over oh I heard acne is fun 
I listen to a podcast called We Met at Acme and that's like the bar that she like talks about. The sweaty, so good. Back home, I got some almond milk and my toilet paper, like I said, but I do have like one splash left of this oat milk. So I'm about to just make a little matcha to get ready for my day. And then my mom and my aunt are coming in. So I'm gonna go meet them for lunch, maybe like shopping, not really like walking around Soho. More, more walking around Soho. I've been spending a lot of time over there, I guess. This is the matcha I've been using. It's the, the Goldie Pure Matcha. I really, really like this stuff. And I just follow the instructions on it. I think I've talked about how I do my matcha. This little whisking tool is seriously the best thing. You can get it, I think, on Amazon. Just do a splash, put like a little splash of water in there. Froth it up, baby. Great workout today. I met a lot of you guys, so if you ever see me, please say hi. A few of you guys who were in the class with me, a few of you on the walk there. That was so fun. Wow, now the matcha is made. So now I pour in my oat milk. I make it get iced. And the most important step to make it not taste like grass is a few drops of liquid stevia, like three. One, two, three. Yum, really good. All right, I am ready. This dress keeps riding up. I probably could have gotten a medium. I rented it from Fashion Pass and I do really like it. It's the brand Amanda Uppertured, um, which is either hit or miss on me, but I like this dress. I just think it's super cute. And I'm wearing these new sneakers I got from All Saints. I'm going to meet up with my mom and my aunt now. We're going to get some lunch, brunch, and then we're heading over to the Van Gogh exhibit, which I'm so excited. Um, that's gonna be super cool. It's like an immersive art thing. So looking forward to it. It's time for the bachelorette, which means we're gonna make a cheese board. These are the ingredients. I'm using a big cutting board from Grubhub. We have gherkins, cornicons, mini pickles. Two types of crackers. I'm using Mary's Gone Crackers and these like fire hook baked crackers. Brie cheese. This is my favorite recently, the Borskin cheese. Manchego. And last but not least, some prosciutto. My hands are clean. And this is for four people, by the way. Yeah, we're starting off with the Borsin. This is so good. I like to put it in the center just because I feel like it's kind of, um, a, it's, she's beautiful. It's a centerpiece. Nice. This one I don't cut, I just leave it whole. Um, Manchego, we will go ahead and cut this one up. I like to have some pre-cut. I feel like it just makes it easier for like to take them. I feel like more people eat it when it's cut up. So for this one, I'm just going to slice it like long ways like this. Not the best at cutting. I'm gonna use a different knife. Now the way that I like to arrange this one, I do it in like a reverse fan method. This is literally like cheese board for dummies, by the way. Um, you should definitely check out at that cheese plate on Instagram. Marissa, she's much better than I am and she's one of my favorite accounts to follow for like inspo for this sort of thing. I just make do with what I can do, you know? We're gonna keep that actually back here for now. Now we're actually gonna do the prosciutto. I've been doing prosciutto recently. I used to not be such a fan of putting meats on the board, but then I tried prosciutto and I was like, wait, I really like this. I'm not good at really arranging this, so I kind of just like do it in the pieces. Also, next time I do a board, I'm definitely going to Trader Joe's because I spent way too much getting this from like a different store. It's way more affordable from Trader. For the brie, I'm actually not gonna serve this whole huge chunk. I'm gonna cut it down and just serve a little piece. I don't think that that much needs to be out. And for this, you could cut it, but I don't think I'm actually going to. I think I'm just gonna leave it whole. We'll do some fun stuff, some crackers. I feel like I could have used another cheese, but it's okay. This is just like an after dinner like snack plate. I'm using Mary's Gone over here. I'm taking some of the mini pickles. That's what I like to call them at least. And we're gonna put them there. I'm using 
these crackers now really good. You can leave them whole, but I like to break them into like smaller pieces. I need to reposition things. And now what I'm doing to top it all off is I have these little like basically accessories to the cheese board and I like to use those. So they're like little like mini knives. I don't know where these are from. I think they're from I want to say like CV2 or something. So basically I'll put this one. This can go in this. This can go in this. Sure. Maybe a few more mini pickles just because they, they do so much and I'm going to eat like so many of them. And that was the make a cheese board segment with me. I'm happy with this. I think it looks good. It's decent. Happy Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. I am dressed up in this cute little fit. Just this white tank top from Tula Rosa. Citizens of Humanity jeans. I just got these new ones. I like the cut on them. And my Jordans. Little fun look. Oh, and then I really like these necklaces. These are from Revolve. I am going to take some pictures with my friend Kristen Victoria Photos. I will link her down below if you're in the New York City area and you need photos for anything, whether it be like an engagement shoot or a friend's birthday or your birthday or you just want, you know, headshots, definitely hit her up. She's really great. I went through and curled my hair this morning. So we're gonna go over to the Gramercy area, take some pictures with her. And then I think we're gonna work at a coffee shop for a little bit or like find like a restaurant or something to work at. So I'm gonna bring my computers so I could edit up some things. Also just posted a week in my life today. So go watch that if you haven't. Trying to figure out what bag to bring to like a coffee shop vibe with me right now. I just got sent this one from CalPAC, but I feel like it's more travel vibe, but it does fit so much stuff. It has like a whole laptop pouch. I will link this. Um, a lot of people asked for a comparison between this one and my daily edited. This is the CalPAC tote, the laptop tote. It's like $148. You can't customize it, but it does come in black too. I like that it has the long strap. It has a lot of different pouches, which is really cool. Probably more of a travel vibe though. And then this is my daily edited one that you guys know I put my initials on. I've been talking about it for a while. This is the wide tote. Let's see size wise. They are pretty similar. This one's just like one big opening. I do like the long sharp on this, but I feel like it also gives it more of like a travel messenger bag vibe. Like I don't know if I'd walk around New York City with this, but this one maybe I would. What do you guys think? I will link both below for options. I think I'm gonna bring neither of these today, actually. I might just bring a canvas tote. I have this one from ASOS that I could just stuff a bunch of stuff in. <laughs> totally different vibe, not structured at all. I actually don't think I have that much to bring with me, just like my laptop, maybe a notebook, chargers, but it shouldn't, like, I don't need this much space, you know? Hi guys, we're here now with Kristen, Hello. Kristen Victoria Photos. We have been taking pictures together. I got the iPhone notification I sent it to you yes. for full, Four years. Was that four years? Four but years. Holy crap. <laughs> we did our first like photo shoot together four years ago. I remember like I came into the city. I was like, oh, I'm like doing photos, like whatever. <laughs> and now it's a, we've come full circle. Yeah. Um, so you have to shoot with her forever in New York. <laughs> I said it before. I was like, I feel like what? Like wedding photography, headshots, like you really like do it all, yeah, right? I do it all. Not wedding, uh, like engagement shoots yes. more so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I feel like a lot of my followers are at that stage in life. So if you're <laughs> in that stage, good for you. But I wanted to say something really cool. We're in Gramercy and I love it over here. It's very cute. It's like 20th and like third right now. Kristen just said, this is Beck's apartment from you. I guess it is. Like I haven't watched it in a minute, but it makes perfect sense that she's like through the window and yeah. he's like watching the street, but they make it seem like it's not in this area of town, but it definitely is. That is pretty cool. Fun fact. Yeah, thanks for the fun fact. It's actually a really cute apartment. I love how they also make it sound like she's like out on like a bunch of loans and everything. And meanwhile, it's like she lives in like this right. amazing townhome, right? right? Yeah. Meanwhile, in New York, this is like how much? Like three million minimum, probably yeah. more. Home, took some more photos for a brand and showered and I am just so tired you guys it is 6 45 now I'm going to chill watch Love Island and go to bed so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog enjoyed these few days and many more vlogs are coming so subscribe if you guys are new I love you all so so much seriously appreciate every single one of you and we'll talk soon bye, bye.